Plenty of disappointment in Brazil after the national football team lost 7-1 to Germany, but also having to admit a certain amount of defeat, Danish company Maersk Oil, which has written down the value of its Brazil operation by 1.7 billion US dollars. I think it's important to put it into some context. These were assets that were bought in 2011 at a time when prices in the market were uh, extremely high. Uh, we bought assets from SK Energy in order to further our aspiration to grow in Brazil's deep water environment, an environment which is uh, really prolific in terms of um, producing new oil and gas resources. Subsequent to that, the work to appraise exploration activities to discover really what was laying uh, beneath the surface there proved very disappointing. The resources simply weren't there to, uh, um, to justify uh, the continued valuation of the assets that we were talking about at, at the price that we'd bought them for. As a result of that, and in keeping with the requirements that we have to uh, um, represent true value for assets on our books, we, we had to take the decision, a difficult decision, to write those assets down. It's a big hit for the firm, which had invested almost two and a half billion US dollars in Brazil. Naturally, this is a disappointment. Uh, we had high hopes and expectations for our activities in Brazil, but I think it's worth bearing in mind, in terms of the future growth of the business, the opportunities that we have uh, to deliver higher production, to deliver more value through projects which we're developing at the moment in places like Norway, the massive Johan Sverdrup uh, field in Norway, the high pressure, high temperature gas in Kalein in the UK North Sea, a project like Chisonga in Angola, or the further development of our resources in Qatar. There's a huge number of really exciting projects which Maersk Oil is developing, which will give us line of sight to that production growth out to 2020. But only if we can achieve value for those projects. These projects need to return uh, at least 10% on invested capital to hit our uh, hurdle rate, to be investments that we want to take forward. However, Maersk Oil insists that this write-down does not affect its long-term production plans. We've seen a number of features which are uh, driving a lot of change within our industry, not least the increase in costs. It costs a lot more, uh, for example, to lease drilling rigs in order to drill the wells, particularly in deep water, that enable us to make projects like those in Brazil uh, um, come to fruition. We're also seeing much more bearish consensus around future oil price, and, and all of these factors play together to make it um, more difficult for companies who uh, have, of course, to make decisions on which projects they're going to take forward uh, to do so in an environment where uh, um, costs and operating conditions uh, can be very difficult. So we've seen write-downs happening uh, within the industry. Notably, they've been happening around shale gas in, in places like the US, which has been an area of huge and intense excitement for, for oil and gas companies. What we're seeing the companies do is become uh, much more specialists in the activities that have made them uh, famous, if you like, in the first place, being um, better at a few of things that they do, uh, seeing companies selling and divesting assets. That, of course, presents potential opportunities for, for, for companies even like our own who would look at opportunities to continue to grow uh, in the longer term beyond that 2020 production target um, that I've talked about. Yeah. <laughs>